What's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man? Are you a god? No. Then... When someone asks you if you're a god, you say yes! <laughs> I remember when this movie first came out, it was such a hit, it never really went away. I guess you could say it has an afterlife. Ernie Hudson, a.k.a. Winston, co-stars in the movie Ghostbusters Afterlife, along with his original crew members, Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray, almost 38 years later. And Ernie, let's just start right here with what kind of hocus pocus you have going on because you don't ever age. <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank you. I, um, I'll just say thank you. Okay, you'll just say thank uh, you. Uh, Ernie, yeah, life is good, so. How you <laughs> came into life, life was not so good in the beginning. Um, you never knew your dad, and, and your mom passed away at an early age, but you were raised by a grandmother who instilled some things in you. You always dreamed of being on stage. What was the attraction? Yeah, I think um, to be able to... Um, to do something that you could reach people that um, people could see that you had something to offer because, you know, where I started out, no one felt I had anything of value to offer. So uh, I wanted to be a part of something that was, that was a little bit bigger than, and I discovered theater and I discovered acting. Yeah. But you know, a, a lot of it I think has to do with how you look at it. I never looked at my life as being difficult. I mean, I look back and I guess I, it, it was, but it, it never seemed that way because I was always loved. You know, I knew my family loved me. And yeah. so. Um, and that love, uh, yeah, your grandmother even you know, shared with kind you. Of after the fact, you say. Yeah. But your grandmother even shared with you that that love, in a sense, also came from your mother on the other side. Share with people kind of this experience that you had that kind of leads itself into, we say Ghostbusters is a comical side of it, but a very serious thing that happened to you as a young boy that felt like you always had the love of your mother around you. Yeah, you know, my, my mother died when I was three months old, so I never knew my mother and I never knew my dad. But uh, my grandmother would say that my, my mother was always looking out for me. And I, it was one time uh, in our house, I heard something moving around uh, uh, and I ran out of the house, I was afraid. But when I looked back, there was a woman, uh, a figure of a woman in the window and it just kind of scared me. Um, my grandmother uh, later explained that it was, it was my mother, but if it, if it made me frightened, that she wouldn't come back or she wouldn't want to be, be afraid. And I've never seen her in that kind of physical form since. But I've always been aware that um, that um, she and my other, you know, ancestors are um, always paving a way um, for me if you prepare yourself and you're ready to step into it. So. Yeah. Yeah. I've always known love. I've never known. I know what it's like to be hungry, but I don't know what it's like to not be loved. <laughs> a lot of us are fascinated, of course, by the afterlife. Ghostbusters delivered it in a different way. Is that part of the reason why you think that it has just, like I mentioned earlier, it never went away, the original movie. Ghostbusters Afterlife is something that brought back a lot of great memories for a lot of people. Is that part of the attraction? Yeah, I think we all wonder what's in the afterlife. You know, we all have to face it at some point. And um, I think that and Ghostbusters deal with it in a very comical way. A lot of kids, you know, who uh, was at home watching the cartoons or on the TV sets, and their parents weren't there. Um, it touched on that. When you were first back on the set, y'all got back together. Did it feel like it was just yesterday or did it feel like it was 38 years ago? Psychokinetic energy in the New York area. That's a big point. Yeah, no, it felt like uh, just yesterday, you know, I've known all the guys, the Gurney Annie. We've kept in contact um, the way people do, you know, run into each other from time to time. But it was just, uh, it was great seeing everybody, especially Bill and Danny in their jumpsuits. Um, we missed Harold, but um, it was it was fun being back. I just got to ask you, when you were first offered that role, they said, listen, you're going to be a Ghostbuster. Was it something that you said, yeah, OK, or were you like, all right, I guess it's a paycheck? <laughs> well, for me, um, well, I read the script and I thought the script was amazing. I really, really, really wanted to be a part of this movie. It wasn't an easy journey to get to it, but eventually I convinced them that I was the guy. But um, uh, yeah, and Ghostbuster, what does that mean? I think. It, it was about five years after Ghostbusters that I realized that, you know what, 
it wasn't just a movie. This is something that that people are connecting to in a very, very special way. Yeah, and now we have Ghostbusters Afterlife. Ernie, thank you so much for joining us this morning, and I'm gonna I'm gonna count on you to send me what the skincare regimen and all that stuff is, because like I said earlier, you look fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Well, thank you, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Okay, Ghostbusters Afterlife is being released on 4K Ultra HD, DVD, and Blu-ray tomorrow, as well as the Ghostbusters Ultimate Collection. For more on Ernie Hudson and the legacy of Ghostbusters, log on to GreatDayHouston.com com for links is something strange in the neighborhood who you're gonna call